Hey there, Boots Owen here. I've got an old battery and I want to get the carbon rods out of it. I'm going to give it a go. I haven't done this in a while. I think I could just get in here. There's carbon rods inside and they're good for making in welding machines and spot welders and things like that. Now, you obviously shouldn't do this at home. You should be bringing your batteries to be recycled by a professional. But here we are. This is where we find ourselves. So there's four cells in here, four 1.5 volt cells that make up the six volt battery. There we go. That's it. They've all corroded and they're all old and bad. But on top, you can see the four carbon rods sticking out. It's all rusty and corroded in there. Very nice. Can I get the bottom out as well or is it set in there? So the chemicals in these batteries are quite unpleasant, really. I wouldn't go trying to breathe them in or anything. Swallow them, eat them, rub them on my skin. I think these are zinc chloride batteries that have perished. The zinc on the outside has corroded. But what we were trying to do here is get these guys out. So this is what we'd like to do. Let's try and get the side cut down a bit more. There is a chance that these like, could explode if you're putting heat on them and there's moisture in them and stuff. And also that because they're corroded, they might be seized in there. Yes. Yeah, that carbon is not coming out. It doesn't want to. Looks like I'm just starting to make a mess here, really. So that one's a bit damaged now, really, but in the past when we've done this, when I've done this, they do just come out. get a better one because that one's spent so the zinc should look like this on the outside and they should look like a silver tube but that's completely corroded off that's the zinc there it should be a full casing of zinc but it's corroded Now we're down into it now. So that rod is giving you 
I think the positive and the negative is the outside skin, which is which is corroded away in this case. Usually, if they're in good condition, it's possible to get the carbon out. I wonder what's on fire there. Hmm. Smells like wax. Let's just try cutting. I'm cracking it in half. Yeah, in the past these have come out a lot easier. They're quite brittle, but there you go. So that's that's it there. It's, I don't know if you need the heat at all, but if you wind up with that. Clean carbon rod. I don't know what the black stuff is. Probably not good. The black stuff, the black powder around it. Let's try that again then. Instead of wasting time, I'm just going to go straight in. I remember it just coming straight out before. But there was just no hassle at all. You can just twist them out. Maybe if you leave them out in the sun for a while or something like that. But these ones could be because the battery is so so corroded. Doesn't want to let it out, maybe. That's all gummy there from whatever that plastic thing was. Don't know what that is. It's on my gloves now. Last one to do. Pop that out. Let's do it again this way. Let's get it off here. In case that gum is in there. So in the past I've done it with the pliers, it worked fine. I don't know if you put them in the oven for a while, would it help or something like that to heat them up, make it softer, I don't know. Or are they waxier or oilier when they're still good, if that makes sense. But you want to use one that's depleted, you don't want to use a new battery for this. So now there you have a carbon conductor for projects. Questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, become a member of the channel if you haven't already. See you later.